What's up? What's happening? What's popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the Spizzles. I'm Simone bringing guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here and you haven't already subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you start what you're doing. Leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. Let me say it again for the people in the back. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. <laughs> The second link is to shop the official store with the Spitz Horse merch collection. Get your classic see the wavy see or the flower dye crew neck that I've been rocking lately. It comes in white, green, and black. So shop that G for the season starts. And lastly, turn your notification bells on because you already know the videos are coming like boom, 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 boom. And you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream. So tap, 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 tap in. But y'all, let's tap into this news for today. So first of all, we know, we know that the last two days were the um, kind of the start of free agency, really the start of free agency because it was the start of the tampering period. So now today, Wednesday at 4 p.m. So good morning to you guys, because it's the morning thing. But Wednesday at 4 p.m., which is today, later today, um, the actual free agency starts, so we can expect to see some more signings. Of course, a lot of the big signings already happened. So we're going to talk about the little moves, the big moves that the Eagles did make, and maybe who's left, who's still on the board, um, kind of a little bit. Now, let's start with what the Eagles have already done. So starting with the big news, we know we signed Hassan Reddick to a $45 million three-year deal with $30 million guaranteed, an outside linebacker backslash edge rusher. The man had 23 sacks in the last two seasons and eight forced fumbles. The Eagles were 31st out of 32 teams last season when it came to sacks, and we know we were terrible bringing that pressure, especially off the edge. Um, so this is a huge move for us. You know, Howie loves defensive signings and free agency, and especially big ones. And like I said before, my initial reaction, I really like this move. Um, the last big defensive signings, free agent signings, I got excited about have all panned out. Javon Hargrave was super excited about him. Don't know how we, um, how the Steelers didn't want to re-sign him. And then, of course, Darius Slay. So our last big defensive free agent signings have panned out wonderfully for us. So Hassan is the next one. We know he's a Jersey native. He's a Philly boy. He went to Temple and he's coming back home and he's super excited. Um, what this also kind of means, well, not, we knew we was gonna drop a bag on somebody in free agency because we had that bag on us, we had that coin. We didn't know what position we was gonna drop a bag on. I think we were all pretty surprised that it was on, um, even though Hassan is more of an edge rusher um, than linebacker, I think we were, we were all surprised um, by that signing and we were surprised by that position. I honestly thought it was gonna be safety or um, wide receiver that we dropped the bag. Um, well, I would have been real greedy. Well, wide receiver, we kind of knew, like, we don't get those big, shiny things. We just don't get that kind of treatment here. But anyway, great move. Um, our big move, super excited about that. Like I said, we was terrible last year when it came to sacks, pressure, all that. Um, and we know all most of our sacks were coming from the interior with Fletcher Cox and Javon Hargrave. So it's great we're gonna be getting that pressure off the edge. So let's talk about some of the more miniature moves, bottom of the depth chart moves, no shade, just truth, you know what I'm saying? That don't mean you can't be a top of the depth chart at one day, but let's talk about them. So Greg Ward signed to a one year deal. We tendered Nate Herbig and um, we signed Andre Chachery to a one year deal as well. So all of our depth chart guys, solid guys. Um, we're gonna talk a little about Greg Ward. Not that Greg Ward isn't solid, but Nate, we know he had to step up sometimes on the interior offensive line, especially last season when we had, of course, all those injuries. Nate is solid. He could see himself, you know, being part of our future. Andre, solid as well. Um, didn't get, uh, Nate is the one out who got the most playing time, um, really, but out of these guys. But Andre, um, he played week 18, that garbage time week, and he showed a little something, 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 you know what I'm saying? But between these three guys, we only spent five, less than $5 million. So, you know what I'm saying? Just showing up the bottom of our depth chart, which is fine. Um, Greg Ward, you know, fine. <laughs> but 
come on. We got to make some big moves at wide receiver, and it's got to happen in the draft, basically, at this point. Um, lastly, we opted against signing Alex Singleton to a restricted free agent tender, so he is available to sign anywhere, including Philly. Uh, but that is a signal. That's a signal to us continuing to draft a linebacker, which I'm <laughs> thanking Jesus, hallelujah. Because when I saw that we signed Hassan, I was like, this better not mean we better not go get a Devin Lloyd if he's still available. Because y'all know I still want Devin Lloyd. Um, Hassan Reddick, like I said, is an outside linebacker, really edge rusher. Uh, we still need to shore up our, it was an interior um, inside linebacker. So we still need to address that. And us um, not tendering Alex Singleton is kind of a, a whatever you would call it, a, a signal to the fact that we're still gonna try <laughs> And it better be Devin Lloyd, cause y'all know I'm high on Devin Lloyd, you know what I'm saying? So if he's still there, I mean, I wouldn't mind the Kobe Dean as well, but if he's still, if Devin Lloyd is on the board, um, how we don't play, don't play. But guys, so like I said, off the board for us, guys we were looking at, Randy Gregory off the board, obviously we got Hassan Reddick anyway, Marcus Williams and Justice Reed are off the board, two defensive backs we were looking at. So we definitely still need to fill that big hole at safety. We already know that. Um, so, I mean, we know Anthony Harris isn't, go isn't coming back. If there's, you know, a Lord up in the sky, <laughs> Anthony Harris won't be coming back. Uh, we know Rodney McLeod is just, I mean, y'all know we love Rodney McLeod, but at this point in his career, it's like, dude. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead, you know what I'm saying? Don't go out super stinky because, you know, he just, it's just, he drew a short straw, just always injured. And he's at that point of age where it's like, he doesn't have that time to really bounce. Like we've seen the best of him and he's starting to kind of hit his decline because of the injuries and the age just slowing him down. Um, so we know we need to get a safety in here. So. The big ones are off the board, so to the draft we turn. I don't know. Maybe we will sign. Maybe it's another safety out there we'll sign. I'm not sure. I don't know outside of the big, the big heavy hitters. I don't know what other safeties on the free agent market. But moving on, um, wide receivers, free agent market. We know we took a big blow when it came to wide receivers. Um, I know we were all looking at DJ Shark. He actually signed somewhere. I can't remember where he signed, but he signed somewhere so off the board so y'all can stop putting that in my comments because y'all love DJ's name in my comments. He's gone. He's gone now. So Juju is still, at this point in the recording, Juju is still on the board. Allen Robinson's on the board and Jarvis Landry's on the board. Now y'all, let's talk about another position that I have talked about time and time again, tight end. Um, after Dallas Goddard, we know, I said this a billion times, huge fall off. And Dallas Goddard in, in and in himself is, has been inconsistent. I'm sorry to say it. Dallas Goddard stands. I don't even know if they exist. But if they do, we know Dallas Goddard has been inconsistent. Uh, we need that boom, boom, two-man punch again at tight end that we had when we had Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard. So, lo and behold, someone got released today, and his name is Austin Hooper. Former um, Atlanta Falcon. I forgot where he was before the Falcons. Um, and now he's with, he was with the Browns. He got, I don't know if he signed a free agent or got traded to the Browns, but he's been with the Browns the last couple of years. And now the Browns just released him. The Browns just said, anybody goes. So they released um, Juice and now they don't release Austin Hooper. So I don't know what the heck they got going on in Browns land because like when you, I don't know why they would release Austin Hooper. I don't know if he, like why they would release um, but they signed Amari Cooper though. And Baker, Baker Mayfield just made a letter last night um, saying thank you to the Browns fans. So I don't know what's going on in Cleveland. But anyway, y'all, what do y'all think about Austin Hooper signing Austin Hooper? I'm pretty sure he's gonna be cheap. Um, and he's somebody, like I said, we can add another punch to the tight end room. We need two, we need two solid tight We need to add some pizzazz to the passing game for one and also the tight end room. So I, we keep talking about wide receiver, wide receiver, but also y'all, we need to, to, to bolster up the tight end because after Dallas Goddard, it is a huge, huge, huge fall off. And like I said, Dallas isn't even always consistent. Okay. Okay. But y'all, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other moves you think the Eagles are gonna make, if we are gonna make any moves free agency-wise. And let me know how y'all think these free agency moves 
affects our draft. Honestly, I don't think there's any big news draft-wise except the fact that we did not sign a wide receiver yet. So that will signal that we will be getting one in the first round. Um, but like I said, there's still some receivers on the board, so who knows? There's still Allen Robinson, Juju Smith-Schuster. Juice is still out there. So who knows? But y'all, we're going to have a lot of stuff to get into, free agency, and then the draft is coming up quick fast. But y'all, make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Check out the links down below. Buy me the coffee, shop the official swim with the Spizzle. It's a merch collection. And until I talk to you guys next time, bye!